Now you wanna let me go, na na na. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited that you're here today with me. I have a lot to do. I have one bag for trash, one bag for donations, and this is gonna be such an intense video. If you need decluttering inspiration, this is the video for you. I'm in my middle son's room, Bentley, and we are just gonna be starting with everything in the closet and clothes and I really wanted to do a video like this because I legitimately had to do this before back to school got started. I needed to know like what kind of clothes my kids actually need um, and before I wanted to make that list, I wanted to make sure and I got rid of any of the clothes that don't fit or that they don't wear or anything like that. So you will see lots of that kind of thing in this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for decluttering and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you're new here and let's just get into it. So I am just going to be going through these toy bins and this is some plastic something. I think there was utensils in it at some point. So that went into the trash. But I am going to tell you that I don't get rid of a ton of toys. I only got rid of like McDonald's toys or switched rooms like that hat actually goes in my other son's room. And you'll just kind of see me looking through all of their drawers and things like that. But I'm not gonna get rid of too much stuff because my kids are older now. If you've been around for a while, I used to do these decluttering videos when the kids were little and I would get rid of so much stuff. Oh, new day. <laughs> I had to switch um, to the next day because I ran out of time. Anyways, but I used to do these videos and I would get rid of so much stuff and sometimes people would get upset with me because I wasn't asking them if they were okay with getting rid of it. But in the in this video today at least, I'm just going to be um, focusing more on their clothes and shoes and then later on we'll go downstairs and we'll do like the kitchen and all that stuff. So stay tuned. So this room is the easiest one that I have to do. So now I'm heading in to one of the most cluttered rooms in the house. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything to embarrass anyone, but there's a lot of work to be done. Um, so I did a good amount of decluttering in this room. There's more to do and there's lots more to clean and organize, but I am gonna do a dedicated video to this room once school gets started, so just wait. Our bodies move to the groove and the light the flickers. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Feel the air get thinner. Standing in a blurry dream. No one else. So my daughter Fiona is almost nine and she has a bunch of clothes that she just, it's just not her style anymore. I don't know about you guys if you have kids, but um, I feel like the older they get, the more opinions they have on what they wear, which is fine. I was the same way when I was her age, I'm sure. But um, so I was just going through getting rid of things that were too small of a size or things that I literally have never seen her wear or things that she hasn't worn for a really long time. Feel the air get thinner. I'm standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. So let us dance. 
I was literally sweating in this video. It's so funny because I had actually showered and washed my hair right before this video, but I was just going as fast as I possibly could because I knew I had so much to do. So yeah, again, I'm going through my daughter's drawers, but I didn't get rid of very much stuff. I just felt like I don't want to get rid of any of her like notes from her friends or like memories or things like that. So I kind of just like made sure there was no trash basically. Like that was just trash that I found up there, but pretty much everything else I just kept. And then clothes, uh, we give to friends. Um, I have different like systems for each kid. So when Bentley grows out, he's my middle son. When he grows out of clothes, I put them in a bin for my younger son, Hudson. And then when Fiona grows out of clothes, we give them to a friend. And then when Hudson grows out of clothes, we have multiple friends that we give them to. So um, anyways, that's just kind of the systems that we have in place. So I did do the top drawer, but it has things in it that I don't want the internet to see. So I just edited that out and skipped down to these drawers and this is her pajama drawer and yep, just going through everything, getting rid of stuff that she doesn't use. And I just got a text from Fiona's soccer coach. I didn't know who her coach would be this year, but she actually has the same coach as last year, which I'm super excited about because we know him and he was great last year. And then we also signed up Hudson and Bentley for soccer this year as well. So I'm gonna be working on getting like their cleats and shin guards and socks and all the things that they need. I think I'm gonna do a separate video where I do back to school stuff. I don't know, I might run out of time to do it, but I'm gonna try to film it after I edit this video. I just have so many videos that I wanna do right now. <music> So that is a big bag of trash. Now we're heading into Hudson's room, which is a disaster. <laughs> it's so funny. When the boys used to share a room, I just assumed that they were both messy. And then when we split them into different rooms, I realized who was messy and who was clean. So Hudson just loves playing with his toys, which is great. I love that he plays with his toys, um, but it's intense, the amount of things that get all over the place. Um, still hot, as you could see, I was fanning myself. Um, this is Hudson's closet. He doesn't have as many clothes. I think I need to pull out a bin from the garage. I have a 4T or size 4T bin of hand-me-downs, so I wanna pull that out before we do back to school shopping. And yeah, I, I keep like everything organized in the garage in bins and they are clearly labeled with like whose clothes they are and what size are in the bins. <laughs> and um, we do get a lot of hand-me-downs, which I'm super thankful for. And we have, um, like I said, the hand-me-downs from my middle son to my youngest son. So yeah, need to work on that.
If you're wondering why this room looks so like cluttered and I don't know, just kind of a mess, it's because there really is not enough room for all of Hudson's toys. I would say Hudson has the majority of the toys out of all the kids. Um, and when we switched him into the smaller room, we really don't have as much space in there. <laughs> so, um, anyways, that's why there's like stuff piled up on top of this thing. I need to figure out some better systems for this room. Um, that is one of my goals for when the kids go back to school is to work on each of their bedrooms because we've lived here for almost, well, it's been about a year and a half. Um, and I just feel like I have not decorated their rooms yet or done anything really with them besides like put the furniture and their stuff in them. So that is one of my projects to work on. And now I'm heading into our room and just going through my side of the drawers. I don't go through Sean's stuff. He can do his own. <laughs> um, and then I'm just heading into our bathroom. on a weight loss journey so I have a bunch of clothes that do not fit me which is what I'm going through right now and I was like you know what let me just look at the jeans that are not my style anymore because I'm keeping some of the jeans that are too small because I want to keep them for like motivation and obviously like so I don't have to buy them new but if I don't like them now I won't like them when I lose weight so I wanted to get rid of that stuff. Also, if you're new here, I always post all my stuff on Poshmark. So I will have my Poshmark um, information in the description box. And another thing about my Poshmark is I usually price things like how Poshmark recommends me to price them, but I am so down to give you a deal. So if you like something, make me an offer and I'll say yes. <laughs> so. There's a little tip for you. So these are all my dresses back here in this little corner. Um, you know, I just have so many dresses that don't fit. I wanted to get rid of probably even more than what I got rid of, but I don't know. Some, it's hard for me to let things go sometimes, but, um, I probably could have gotten rid of almost every single one of those dresses. <laughs> now it's time to deal with my shoes. You know, when we first moved in, I had this thing looking so perfect and beautiful and so organized and now they have become a disaster but um, I am just going to work on it get things back to normal slash get things back to how they were originally welcome to my downstairs there's so much work to do down here and I was very happy that I finished the upstairs as you can see my drawers and closets and all the things need to be decluttered they also need to be organized and cleaned out but today's video is a declutter with me so i was trying to focus as much as i could on not necessarily cleaning my house but just decluttering and getting rid of stuff the kitchen is one of the more overwhelming parts of the house I feel like I just have so many little things in so many cupboards and drawers and the pantry and the closet and all of the things so 
it was a little bit overwhelming, but I still got through it and I feel like we made a lot of progress. Some things did not need to be decluttered. Like that cabinet I was just in was like all my spices and glasses and then I didn't really need to get rid of anything in there. This drawer needs some serious attention. Um, so I will have to come back to this drawer at a later time <laughs> to deal with it a little bit more. But I did declutter like trash or things that we aren't using or whatever. So I did get rid of all my e-cloths in this video. I used to love them and now I just never reach for them anymore. I just don't use them. I am gonna just give them away, maybe to my mom or something like that. And um, yeah, it's interesting because I used to be so into those e-cloths. Let me know down in the comments if you have a similar situation or if you still use your e-cloths. I don't know. I just, I'm not into them anymore. I want to have like a good scent in my house. I'm coming out with apologies. Holding back, I got history. So there's so much paperwork in this bin and a lot of it is just school papers. So I wanted to either get rid of stuff that I didn't need anymore or save it. I am going to be doing a paper, like, how do you say it? School paper organization video coming up. And so you can keep on the lookout for that. Um, this drawer is giving me anxiety just looking at it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you're getting anxiety looking at this drawer too. <laughs> it's so bad, you guys. When we first moved in, it was so organized and beautiful. I had everything in rows, in little clear bins. And somehow over the last year and a half, it now looks like this. literally so much clutter from those top drawers that I was finding stuff that had fallen out of the drawers <laughs> down where my pots and pans and toaster and everything is so gosh you guys I just need to be more organized I really want to work harder on this
just to give you guys a little update on the fam, if you're new here or if you've been around for a while, I don't know if I've talked about my kids for a while, but um, my oldest is Fiona. She's almost nine. She's going into fourth grade. She is always the youngest in her class because um, her birthday's in September. So it's just one of those, like she was either gonna be the youngest or the oldest. So we chose the youngest. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if she's happy about that, but that's what we went with. So Fiona's going into fourth grade. Then we have Bentley, who's my middle son. He is seven and he is going into second grade. And then we have Hudson, who is four and a half, and he is going into TK. So this will be Hudson's first full year of school, um, which we're super excited about and a little bit nervous about just because he is very picky with his food, especially. So we'll see how that goes. Surprised you know how they got to figure out. Lot more work down here underneath the sink um, just as far as organization goes so I'll have to come back through the whole house and just do like another organizing video by the way I'm sorry if you can hear the gardeners I don't know if you can in the recording but they're right outside my window right now so there's really nothing I can do about it and I am too stubborn to do this later Welcome to my pantry. One of the biggest catastrophes we have in the house is this pantry. Like I said, it was organized. If you've been around for a while, you remember my organization video that I did in the pantry. It was great and I loved it. It was beautiful, but it did not last. Apparently when you organize things, you have to keep them up. So I didn't keep up this pantry. I need to do a lot of work in here. I've actually started trying to do just like a little bit every day because it's super overwhelming to me. And then when people come over, I always feel bad because they go in there and try to find something, can't find anything because there's just so much stuff. So, oh my gosh, what did I used to do in our condo? We had like the smallest pantry and I used to make it work. So what is going on with my life right now? up just a little bit on things that I know that the kids will eat like for instance in the right bottom corner of this video you can see the mac and cheese that I have stocked up I have friends who are like hardcore stocking up on food and it makes me wonder if I really should be doing that so I'm curious to know in the comments if you guys are doing any of that um, I have not done a great amount but I have done you know just a little bit here and there anyways these boxes that I'm putting in a bag are my old Optavia boxes I was so happy to get rid of them um, I have a lot to say about Optavia but I'll probably save that for a different video uh, if you guys remember I went on Optavia a while back and really loved it for weight loss but I do not love it for weight maintenance. 
So I could say so much more, but I'm not going to in this video. Um, right now I'm in the downstairs closet that's like underneath our stairs. And I'm just going through all the kids' shoes and whatever trash I can find. Um, or backpacks. All the things. This is probably the worst small space in our entire house. So let's do this. So let me know down in the comments how you're doing with back to school projects. So I feel like there's so many things to do to get ready for the kids to go back to school. I started a Pinterest board because I was like, what am I missing? I feel like there's things I need to be doing that I'm not doing, but I couldn't even think of what they were. So I started um, a Pinterest board and have been writing some things down to myself. And then um, we got some vans recently. I'm going to be organizing their papers. I'm going to be getting like, oh yeah, um, Bentley's backpack and lunchbox came in today. I am gonna be taking the kids back to school shopping. Although I don't know how I want to do back to school shopping. I'd love to know from you guys what you do, but I'm wondering if I should just do online shopping for the kids um, so that I can pick their clothes. <laughs> Cause I feel like sometimes when I let them pick their clothes, it, we come back with like sequin jackets and random things and then they never end up wearing them. So anyways, I'm super chatty today if you can't tell, but um, I just pulled out some shoe racks, which we never use. So I put them upstairs to organize blankets. Anyways, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I feel like I have been doing a lot of talking in this video. So if you've made it this long, you are amazing. And just wanted to say thank you for watching this video with me. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. This is the cleanest we got this closet. It was way better than before. Here's my pile of donations slash things I'm taking upstairs slash things that I'm going to be taking to my Poshmark account. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.